peeps. So I am redoing my room and setting it up for the winter and getting ready to bring in my outside plants. Um, but I wanted to have a different setup just because how my artificial lights are set up, like, and I just, I don't know, the other setup was overwhelming for me. And I've been cleaning out my closet and I posted it on Instagram and I had the ingenious idea to uh, use the light in my closet as a plant light or maybe even, you know, ah. <laughs> still looks like a wreck, but um, maybe use my closet as a plant room. But then I thought it over and it doesn't have a lot of insulation. It has no plugs. I feel like, I don't know. So I'm just gonna keep it in my room. So I am redoing my whole room. Obviously I've started because my room looks like a wreck, but I want you guys to get a snack or get your plant chores together, make a list, and we're going to knock this thing out together. So I'm gonna be playing my video right here. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys can uh, do some chores with me. I plan on moving this shelf over here because that one has the strongest lights. So I feel like it doesn't need to be by the window, like closest to the window. And I'm planning on getting new shelves very soon. Now what kind of shelves? I don't know. I want it to be something cute, but something enclosed, but something not moldy. So we'll see. I get lost inside my thoughts and when I start to think Oh, the time, how close it starts to end up on the brink I tried so hard but all these scars, they cut so deep I bleed I fell so fast from heaven, it's like someone clipped my wings Now I'm falling and I can't see the ground can we stop this gravity it keeps bringing me down i can't breathe and i don't want to die can we stop this gravity cause i want to say goodbye <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to move on to cleaning. I'm using Jack's Dead Bug in a spray bottle mixed with water. Um, I'm using the correct measurements that it says on the bottle and I'm shaking it up and spraying for thrips because these particular ones that I had in the bathtub did have a th thrips outbreak and I'm trying to combat that 
Um, so I'm doing pest management all day today as well as cleaning my room as you guys may have seen. So I'm spraying down the stems, the front of the leaves, to the back of the leaves. I'm making sure I get some of the substrate as well um, because I know that they do lay eggs. So I just want to make sure that there is no chance of them coming back. So I'm making sure I'm getting really in there um, and getting everything. Okay, so now we're moving on to hydrogen peroxide baths. What this does is it can help with um, pests in your soil. So if there's any bugs in your soil, it will eradicate that. Um, it will get rid of bad bacteria. It will get rid of good bacteria as well. So you don't wanna do this too often, um, but I'm doing about a fifth of a gallon of uh, hydrogen peroxide with water and flushing all of the plants through. Um, you'll hear some popping. They say that the popping is um, bugs being killed, but I don't actually know about that. But you do hear popping if there's anything in your soil. Um, but this is something I like to do from time to time. Um, if there's a plant with um, a pest problem that I know of or it's coming from outside, who knows what's in that dirt, which is what this plant has done. So I'm spraying that one down. I just brought it in and I'm cleaning out the catch pot for the plants with the bugs. watching this video i hope you like subscribe and um comment what chores you got done today so i will see you in my next video